All right, so we're looking at Adobe Spark's new, um, actually it's called Adobe Spark Video, and this is an amazing app. So Adobe makes fabulous mobile apps, and Spark Video is one of their new apps that allows you to easily combine images, video, and text into these really great eye-catching stories. And you can do it, obviously, on your mobile device. So this is available on iOS right now. Android is in the works. Um, but if you're an Android user and you're interested in it, you can go to the web version. So using any browser and you can go to spark.adobe.com and you can access it um, there and do very basically the exact same thing from your laptop or desktop. So when you launch the program, you do get a little tutorial. So I encourage you to look at that. We're going to dig a lot deeper than what that little overview goes through and um, show you some of the cool features and functionality. It's really an amazing, amazing tool. So um, when you start off, we're going to tap the plus sign. And it says, what's your story about? So everything you create with this product, with Spark Video, is called a story. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a little story here about CES, which is the Consumer Electronics Showcase. Um, and uh, it just um, long, it, we, uh, was just in, in January. And uh, so we're going to feature some of the new technology that we saw at CES. So there's some really crazy, fun, and amazing stuff. So I'm going to say next. And then it says pick a template. So there's all kinds. So maybe you want to promote an idea. Um, maybe you want to tell what happened. Maybe you want to do a hero's journey. So these are all different templates. And they come with sound, music, and transitions, and templates, and look and feel that are specific to help you and um, suggesting what you should put in your video. So show and tell, personal growth, and we're gonna do teach a lesson. So we're not exactly te teaching a lesson, but we're gonna show some new technology. So it's the closest one. Now, the first thing it does, it says, hey, add in your video, your text, or your photo, or an icon into this slide. And basically down here, this is sort of your overview of what's going on, and because I picked um, a lesson, it says give an overview, give a concept, example, explanation, you try it in summary. I don't have to follow that exactly. It's really just to get you going um, rather than starting from a blank slate. Or if you want to, you could choose blank slate and start from scratch. So I'm going to go in here and um, we're going to start off bringing in a photo. So we're going to tap on photo. Notice you can pull photos from the cloud, Creative Cloud, Adobe's Creative Cloud, take a photo with your camera, um, Lightroom, Dropbox, Google, um, or Facebook, or directly on your tablet. I'm using this on my iPad. I think I said that you can do it on your um, phone as well. I'm just doing it on my iPad mini um, for visual sake. And it does look a little bit different on the phone, so just FYI. So we're going to pick um, a photo from the trade show, and this is a, a smart hairbrush, something everybody needs, right? <laughs> and um, it actually has a sensor on it. So actually, let me just record this. So I'm going to record what this picture is about. This is a hairbrush created by L'Oreal in conjunction with some other companies that analyzes your hair. It has a sensor in the middle of the brush, makes recommendations on product, and um, tells you what kind of hair care you need for your hair. And there's obviously a corresponding app to go with it. Okay, I went a little long on that. Probably shouldn't be quite that long, but I'm going to leave it at that for now. And um, what I want you to notice, actually, I think I'll do it in the next frame. So, so we added our first picture. So we're going to go ahead and add a next one. And we're going to go to Photos. And I'm going to use um, this stroke victim, or this device for helping stroke victims. So let me record to that. This CES Innovations Award winner helps stroke victims regain, regain the strength in their hands. So that's really cool. Now, what I want to show you is notice that you have a dotted line here, if you can see that, and then you have the picture in the background. You can actually get pretty fancy here. You can add text or photo over that, and then if you click here, you can actually have a video in the background or a photo. So you could have a video running in the background and then a picture in the foreground. So pretty cool. So I'm going to tap on this. And I'm going to add another photo. This is not going to match. I'm just doing it for example purposes. I'm going to pull um, this picture of this mirror. This is actually a smart mirror that <laughs> um, analyzes your skin. It has nothing to do with the stroke product, but just to show you that you can overlay one picture over another picture or a picture over video to really create depth and interest. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one out. The other thing that you can do is that you can actually... Um, position these, edit this a little bit, let me, um, there you go. So you can use your fingers, pinch and zoom. So if you want to zoom in on this, you can do that to bring that focus to that. Okay, 
So you can edit those a little bit um, within the app. Now we're gonna go ahead and, next one we're gonna do is we're gonna add a video. So let's tap video. And I've got some really cool video in here, multiple things, but let's do this one of these holograms. And these are holograms that are used for marketing. Okay, and you can pick what length or how much you want of the video. You can also scan the video very quickly by dragging this bar. Now you can only add about 30 seconds into your Spark video. And that looks like some pretty interesting product there that we're going to see for holograms. Okay, so I think we'll grab that. And so we'll grab about 10 seconds of that or so. Let's see where we are. Okay, and if you want to test what you got. Ellie, good luck, LED wall is more expensive than that. Okay, so we'll do, I'm going to turn that a little bit, I don't need quite that much. Okay, so we'll say done. All right, so that added that video. Now notice over here we have a couple of options. So if I want to edit that again or trim it, I can do that here. I can actually have it go on to the next slide if I want to, into the next frame if I want to. And I can choose whether or not I want to mute or not mute the sound. So um, you can make it soft or muted. I'm going to leave it as soft. And so you can do that as well. And then the other thing I want to do is I actually want to add some text onto this. So you can add a caption. And I'm going to put on here holograms. And so, um, so you can add that caption. And if you want to see how something looks, so you want to get a preview of how this will look, just play it. Okay. And we could play that longer if we wanted to. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add in another video. And this time let's add in this really cool matte case. And let's go. So I'm going to add in about... Okay, and um, I think this actually was a CES award winner too for design. So that's a really neat product. And then um, let's add in one more picture. So many, so much cool stuff. I love this. Oh, this is great. Okay, so this is actually a um, camera. Let's see if I can pull that down to the center. And that's a camera that attaches to designer glasses. Let me actually record that. You can hear it while I record it. This is um, a camera, pogo cam, that attaches to designer glasses that you can use to take photos. Um, and a really neat portable camera. All right, so there's that one. And then summary, let's just put on here some text and put... Um, All right, and we'll do that. And then um, we can play that if we want to, or if you want to see play the whole thing, you tap down here, and this is going to play our whole story. So here we go. This is a hairbrush created by L'Oreal in conjunction with some other companies that analyzes your hair. It has a sensor in the middle of the brush, makes recommendations on product, and um, tells you what kind of hair care you need for your hair. And there's obviously a corresponding app to go with it. This CES Innovations Award winner helps stroke victims regain, regain the strength in their hands. This is um, a camera pogo cam that attaches to designer glasses that you can use to take photos um, and a uh, really neat portable camera. Okay, so notice how it has that closing slide uh, made with Adobe Spark. So it does put that on the end of every video. I'm not sure, I think you can pay to have that taken off. I need to verify that though, I haven't done that yet. And then at this point, you can either keep editing or share it. I'm gonna show you share. And uh, notice that you can set it into a category of lifestyle, photography, or sports. Notice that there's no technology camera or category. Um, so, um, but that's their category. So this actually loads to where 
Adobe has tons of Spark videos. And you can see other people's creation and it shares them in its own sort of social media network. You can edit the credits if you want to. So if you need to give somebody credit for the photos, you can do that, author info. And if you wanna say, get noticed, um, that will actually make it available in search engines and things like that. Then of course you can share it on your social media as well and you can embed it actually into your website um, or any of your social media things. So this is a very, very powerful tool for business or for fun and obviously very quick and easy. So we did that without too much effort. A couple other things I wanted to point out, you can change the music. So that was the default music for this template, Ta Traveling Buddies. You can pick whatever music and listen to it, okay? So you can pick whatever you want. Um, you can change your theme. So if you want your images to have different types of transitions, you can use that in those different themes. And then I showed you the picture within a picture, but you can also do picture within a caption. So if you're on something like, um, um, like this and you want to have two things showing, you can split it and have two pictures side by side or a picture and a caption or what we had, you know, one picture or full screen, okay? So you can do different uh, layouts for any given picture. So really great, fun app. That's a great overview. Um, this shows you all of the ones that you've created and you can share them, save them, edit them. They are available on all of your different devices as long as you're using your Adobe account to use it, which you have to. So I can access this from my laptop or my phone or my or my tablet. And um, I do weekly videos, so feel free, if you like this and this is helpful, feel free to um, subscribe. I do weekly videos for an ABC affiliate as well as several other TV stations. So if you'd like to get copies of those, you can always send me an email at info at ipadwisdom.com, info at ipadwisdom.com. I don't cover just Mac stuff, I know it sounds like it there, but almost about 95% of what I cover actually applies to both Android and iOS or web. So feel free to subscribe to that, get all kinds of f a neat, free, it is free, tech tips and app reviews. And um, you can always visit my website as well at ipadwisdom.com, ipadwisdom.com, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. So whichever works best for you is great by me. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.